What is up, Cornucopius Universe? I am your host, Jake, and I am here to bring you guys another Kopi Cafe recap over Kopi Cafe number 61. Stay with me. Testing is going very well. The team has already found over 150 bugs and has fixed them. An OG member named Scruffy is going through the testing phase as well as some other OG members. But come Tuesday, we will see more people having access to testing. The game, the launcher, and the player count are all working together seamlessly, which is huge. The team has also noted that there is an American and European testing server that are both up and running. Kalito Resort has been gamified to help out with testing. Around Kalito Resort, there is a series of things called the hollow caches. There are over 100 different devices for you to find that have varying degrees of rarity. It's a way to make it fun to test and also to gamify it. The team did also add a compass to the game. The compass is going to point you in the direction to help complete your tasks and your quests. Pretty dope. The team is currently working on the proximity voice chat. What that's going to allow you to do is to talk with your friends that you're playing the game with, people around you, and just have a general discussion with people in the game. Community questions. Question one, there is decentralized and family-friendly philosophy. These two could be difficult to balance in regards to enforcement of community guidelines. How does Cornucopius plan on addressing these issues? The team in the beginning wants a centralized curated approach, and over time they want to decentralize. They want to cultivate and create a community that can enforce their own governments. So they want to empower the community to be able to make its own choices. Tools will be given to the community, such as censoring chat, as well as turning on and off mics. So they're doing their job. Question two, is there a finite end to the testing feedback or is the racing game in Metaverse going to be continually open for access as well as updates? There will be a finite end to the testing as the game eventually will be released as well as the racing, but there will always be a place for you to go and report bugs. The team does keep the servers up 24-7 and has currently gone through two huge testing phases where they've gotten most of the bugs. Testing and feedback will be open for a while, but eventually we will see it transition out of the testing phase. Question three, can the domes be allowed to only accept VR headsets for custom events? Age limits are gonna be introduced, but can there be system limits exposed for creators to use also? When the team does get more resources, they do plan on testing the VR headsets within the custom domes. The Kopi token recently released on the Ascendex Exchange. Now this is quite big. However, the team did tell us that they've already had multiple exchanges approve their token, but they are trying to time it correctly with the markets. More exchanges are going to be open in the future for the Kopi token, but right now what I want you guys to do is go over there and check out Ascendex and see what they got going on. As always for the leak section, I'm going to go ahead and point you guys to Kopi Cafe number 61. You guys got to go look at it. Something awesome is there. I hope you catch my drift. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's Cornucopius Universe, Kopi Cafe Recap over Kopi Cafe number 61. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope to see you guys next week. And until then, stay corny.